All right, what's good, fellas? One thing I've learned in this world is that not everybody is worth your energy. Not everybody is worth your time. You gotta be able to play dumb with people. You can't talk about what you really feel like. As men, we gotta learn how to disguise our intentions. I made a video about this and some motherfucker was hating on me talking about I'm a toxic masculinity man. I promote fucking misogyny. Some of you guys are just not worth the fucking time. Some of you guys just wanna come on my channel and troll me. Some, uh, you know, the, the trolls don't even bother me. What bothers me more is the people in my real life who low-key fucking hate on me. What bothers me more is that people don't want to see you change. People don't want to see you improve yourself. That's one of the toughest things on this self-improvement journey is everybody trying to hold you down. You don't think it's real. You don't think the red pill is real. You don't think that people really have ulterior motives when they do. You don't think these women are playing games with you. Let me tell you something, dating is all a fucking game. All right, social dynamics are all a fucking game. You don't think any of this shit is true until you actually fucking implement it, but most people are too scared to actually fucking implement it and they are not worth your fucking time. You are not going to convince everybody about the way the world works. You are not going to convince everybody on your lens of seeing the world. Most people are too caught up in what they were told is right and what they were told is true. But when you really take a step back and examine it, you can see the way the world really is. A lot of people are just not worth your time. You ever wonder why there's so many fucking out of shape people? They know they should fucking work out. I've tried to train people who just didn't want to hear what the fuck I said. People, I'm a, I, I, I've been a personal trainer and people will literally come into sessions for me and I will give them advice and they will go back to doing the same fucking shit. Every time. They'll go back to the same bad habits. They'll go back to the same eating habits. They'll go back to the same fucking fad diet. Maybe I should just cut out carbs. No, no bitch. Try and tell them all it takes is a calorie deficit. That's not what they want to hear. When you tell them they're not good enough, that's not what they want to hear. When you tell them you got to go monk mode and improve yourself, that's not what they want to hear. When you tell them you got to play the game, that's not what they want to hear. Everybody wants to feel like they're more intelligent than you. Fat people want to feel like they're smarter than the fucking personal trainer they bought sessions from. So you can't waste your energy with those people. What you have to do is just agree with them. No, yeah, bro, I totally understand. Good for you. You're, you're completely right. You are never gonna convince the majority of people about this red pill shit. The majority of people are gonna attack you, call you misogynist, call you conceited. When you really start to focus in on your fitness and start to take your fitness seriously, watch how people treat you differently. Watch how differently people treat you. Oh, you're putting on some muscles now. 
where you think you're hot shit. Oh, you really focusing in on this, Finn. You must not have anything else going on in life. Oh, he's got to put on all these muscles because he's got a small dick. Or he's got to put on all these muscles because he's he has no personality. Because he's insecure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They'll try and hold you fucking down. Oh, look at him now. He's got a YouTube channel. I always knew this kid was a fucking weirdo. That's the type of shade people are gonna throw on you. Everybody wants to feel like they're more intelligent than you. Everybody wants to feel like they know better than you. And you can't lead, you can't make the horse drink. You gotta lead it to the water. All you can do is show with your fucking actions what the truth is. All you can do is really be on the grind and really not make excuses. And show them with your success what the fuck is up. That's one of the hardest things. That's been one of the hardest things for me. Trying to reinvent myself, trying to build myself up as a man. And that's something you can only do yourself. But when you do it, the people who are used to the old version of you wanna hold you down. They don't wanna see you change. Men and women, family members and friends. Strangers and people closest to you. They don't want to see you change because most people do not have the capacity to do that. Most people do not have the nutsack and the integrity to do that. Most people get so fucking caught up in the confines of their life and they think it's not natural to change when in actuality, everybody is putting on a performance. Everybody is putting on an act. Just because it feels natural to you now, that's just because you've done it enough. Me, my self-confidence, my self-esteem has been fucked up for the last couple of years. Going through periods of drug abuse, going through friends, deserting me, stabbing me in the back. Going through career difficulties, not knowing what I wanted to do with my life. My self-esteem is fucked up. And now that I'm taking my own path, now that I'm building up a YouTube, now that I'm building up my business, people don't believe in me. People don't want to see me change. You got to understand that, guys. People do not want to see you change. Not everybody is in your corner. The way you know somebody is really in your corner is if they are with you while you change. And that's a tough thing for a lot of people to understand. But if they could understand that, that's who the fuck you want in your corner. But the rest of them, oh, they'll insult you. They'll make fun of you. They'll talk shit about your, you behind your back. They will post about you subliminally. Yep. People don't wanna see you build up your own business. People don't wanna see you go your own route. People don't want to see you do something outside the ordinary. People don't want to see you do something that challenges their view of the world. Because they can only understand the world from their lens. And when you are struggling, when you are going through those hard times of reinventing yourself because you always want to drift back to what's comfortable, 
That's human nature. You want to drift back to your old habits. When you, when you want to start drifting back to that and you start having that struggle, they will clap in your face. People that said they want to see you succeed will low key clap in your face, low key hope for your demise. Family members, friends. It's a cold world. And when you realize the way the world really works and you try and actually tell people, when I come on here and and put these stories on YouTube, I know that I'm leaving myself vulnerable every single time. I know that I'm gonna catch hate. And I know that people are gonna shame me for this. I know that people are gonna call me deceitful. I know that people are gonna call me conceited. I know that people are gonna call me misogynist. I know that people are gonna comment about the fucking Hitler. It's a fucking album cover, guys. People will look for anything. People will take these videos for surface level. Not trying to actually understand what you're saying, but just trying to get you to slip up. Just trying to get you to have an emotional response. So my advice to you guys today, do not let that energy into your life. Learn the power of playing dumb. Just agree with people and speak with your actions.